on this episode of the Third Gallon Podcast. Get this man a burger. Get this man a burger. Having reached the peak of Castle Weatherstone. And also in this room is a, a middle-aged like man who had been reaching for the sword and had woken up this kink. This is, kink. This kink. This kink. This kink. Apparently <laughs> undead is his kink. Our adventurers must now face the undead king, Algorod. Oh, oh what no. the heck? That's right. It's an artifact. What the fuck is that? That is One, a... Two. That's 12 dice. Are they up to the task? Stab. <laughs> Stab. The Battle of Weatherstone begins. Uh, no <laughs> amount of horny jokes can save you from this combat. Now. So, guys. Yes. I had a breakdown. <laughs> oh dear, what about? I did I did something that every normal adult does and just completely erased my presence on a Discord server whenever I felt as though everybody clearly oh, hated I rem- me. I remember this breakdown. I Uh-oh. watched it happen. Yep. Mm-hmm. I was just sitting there staring kind of absently at the screen as I deleted both. How many thousand messages? But did you go through and hand delete messages? Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. It was really? Why? Yeah. Hand delete? I wanted, I was going to leave this server and I decided that if I was going to leave this server, then I was not going to leave anything behind. Did you do that thing where you read what the posts look like, who responded to you and see the gaps? There was way too many to read all of them. I mean, just like little portions where they were like actually talking back and forth with you. It's hilarious. Yes. Yeah. I have left a gap. And I will do it again because I am a perfectly functioning adult. So this is how you wanted to start off today's episode. Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, you had a breakdown. I had a breakdown and I had three nightmares last night. So I feel, I feel you. Welcome to the third gallon podcast where you have to be pretty broken to host. I had a Werther's original and I'm doing pretty great. Can I have another one? Actually, yes. <laughs> Get out of this show. Actually, uh, no, the Werther's originals really help. They're, they're so good. I've got one dissolving in my coffee right now, but oh, I want oh. one in my mouth. You have Put to tell me how coffee. it tastes on your coffee. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Like. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm, there we go. Big sexy. Gotta get that full work in. I'm gonna. <laughs> Anyone else while we're at it? You already left one at my desk. Audience? I don't know if you're eating it or not. Yeah. I don't think that your two pound bag is big enough for the entire audience. This episode of the Third I'm Gallon not Podcast. I'm sharing with the entire audience. That's a, a future Patreon tier. Brought to you by Werther's Original. I'll send Werther's you Werther's Original. Werther's original. <laughs> <laughs> oh mm. Put one in every package order with merch. <laughs> <laughs> that is so delicious. I wonder if you could actually legally do that. Well, I bought. Yeah. I ordered something from a sock company once and they put like a Tootsie Roll or, or a Smarties in every single package wow. i mean so long as you're not selling it you can send anybody almost anything a yeah it's a free gift. gift with your purchase yeah mm-hmm. it's a gift that's fair that's fair i thought yeah. i don't think if we ever like started a uh like what is it a patreon or something like that you could ever have a tier called would you like a Werther's original <laughs> would you like a dot 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 you know. Would you like you a know. Butterscotch? You know. <laughs> Just would you like a butterscotch? Oh, would you like a hard no. candy? <laughs> would you like an unspecified hard butterscotch candy? I thought they were more caramel. Or are they oh. butterscotch? They're, butterscotch and caramel are exceptionally similar. Speaking of where there's original, how about this castle? <laughs> oh. Speaking of segways. Speaking uh, of segway. Did you know that segue in the terms of like moving things along in a in a in a project is not S E G W A Y like the locomotive I was about to say did you know that Segway is not actually about connecting two things it's about riding on a thing that only has two wheels and you lean the original hovercraft <laughs> <laughs> that, that yeah Absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. Segwaying off the Segway that segwayed the wrong way. <laughs> it's like S E G U E. Uh you. Seg you. Gross. Mm-hmm. The same way that Q is Quayway. Quayway. I love it. I do love Quayway. That's I how I remember Quayway. how to spell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But how do you guys like, how how has Weatherstone been for you? Is this, let me, let me phrase this. When you first heard of a castle with treasure to explore in our first episode, yeah. all those years ago, yeah. how does, uh, now that you've been through most of it, compare? 
I wish we had more treasure. I, <laughs> oh, I kind treasure. of wish that we would have dumped the bodies before we went in and found Eskar. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. I'm really glad that I picked up that shield, though. Dumped what bodies? Like we had disposed of the bodies in the castle before, you know, they got woken oh, up. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about. In case if they were going to become undead. Yeah, like yeah. they have, apparently. Like they have because there's claws, unless there was something else. But we didn't have the chance. We walk in and boom, there's Eskar. Well, I mean, well, no, no. We mean like before we got to this room. Like when we walked into the first foyer on the first floor, mm-hmm. take them out and burn them right then and there. Yeah. I said or drop them in like the moat. Yes, you did. It's just I did to say be fair. drop them in the mud. I tried yeah. to make a barricade with them, but you know, no one wants to mess with the bodies. Apparently, no one wants to let me desecrate the corpse. I mean, they're already hey, dead. Hey, said <sighs> drop them. I mean, because you guys are pretty on top of it. Maybe it's from you know playing a lot of adventures or just knowing my GMing style, where you're like, we're gonna get there. Everyone's gonna be dead, which is not completely true, yeah. but mostly true. Like you guys called it more or less. And I feel like there was a comment made about, oh, these undead are going to come back to bite us. And uh, yeah, they sure are. No one said anything or no one did anything about it. So I was kind of surprised. I said to drop them in the moat. Yeah. And, and, and we could have got more treasure. I told you so. We could worry about that later too. Hey, hey, we've got treasure to go back to. Kali found oh, yeah. it with her foot when she the, almost the, died. The cliff and then the wagons mm-hmm. in the ravine. And, I'm sure we can get that harpy treasure without getting I'm sure you'll be able to go back for all the treasure this place has to offer. And don't forget Derek, the hole. We gotta go back for the this hole. This is our mm-hmm. new home. I'm sure it will be. It will. I mean, if home is where you lay your head, then chances are this is gonna be home. Hey, speaking Especially of... Especially if one of us dies. Speaking of dying yep, there's and the also joke. of Thank treasure, you, Kat. <laughs> uh, you got something besides treasure. You also have got... Some more XP. Yeah. I like XP. So. Yeah. I was super excited. There we go. Yeah. All this XP for your character. Super, this large amount of XP we'll get from the last two episodes. But we can't do anything with the Mm -hmm. talents we buy. Yeah. That's why I was, I was, I was kind of worried before we started making the show about how I was going to split up XP dumps. Uh, because the way the book has you do it is per session, which is like three to four hours. And I wasn't sure how that would fit with episodes because I didn't want to do every three episodes. It's a little too infrequent. So I did every every two because we sit down for about an hour and a half. So that's roughly three hours. But I was worried about being too fast. But honestly, because of the way the questions are asked, it kind of limits how much XP you could get because there's not a lot you can do in the shorter sessions. Yeah. But then again, yeah. I mean, we, we are going to like we've got gold. We've played. We've. Well, we haven't technically killed a monster, but we've yeah. done stuff. I think Cat uh, will get a point for risking her life. Oh, I, I'm arguing hard on that one. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say risking her life for another party member. I would say doing an extraordinary yeah, feat. Yeah, I was going to yeah, argue that either I'd get the extraordinary action or the risking their life, but I was going to lean toward extraordinary action. Yeah. Jumping across a chasm, I think, is extraordinary. Well, let's get into that list. All right, so item number one, did you participate in the game session? You get one XP for Woo! being there. So go ahead and mark that. Everyone, nice. gets, everyone gets one. Yeah. As a famous dwarf cleric who doesn't speak in our other campaign once said. <laughs> that is the most ass backwards thing I have heard. <laughs> I don't want to go into it. Let's just keep going. It's a true statement. Uh, item number two, did you travel through at least one hex on the game map that you had not visited before? Nope. No. Nope. No. Did you discover a new adventure site? No. No. Did you defeat one or more monsters? Define monsters and define defeat. So the harpies would be a monster, but you really didn't defeat them. You kind of just put it off until later. I know. So I would say no. Now here's one that's fun. Did you find a treasure? One gold or more? Yes. Didn't we yeah. find yes. gold? We yeah. found two. Uh, we, we found weird exper- experiments worth two weight worth five silver each mm-hmm. yeah but we you also know, found that bag of gold and the bag exactly. of gold oh, yeah, that was on my foot. bag of gold i was like wait oh, there you go bringing that up sure Sorry, i hadn't got to that point in my notes <laughs> yeah <laughs> did you build a function in your stronghold nope uh did you activate your pride i don't think no. anyone activated nope. their pride uh no. last time 
Did you suffer from your dark secret? I would say you, with your dark secret that you changed, Jacob, has a pretty strong argument for being suffered well, from. Well, the thing of it is, did I suffer from my dark I secret? I suffered from his no. dark secret. <laughs> Cahoon and <laughs> Kali suffered let's, from my dark let's secret. Let's hear about it, Jacob. Uh, because my dark secrets, because uh, I have a background, I tried to relate it to that. It just didn't work out well. Mm -hmm. Dreamin has to fight greed. He likes treasure and discovering things. His dark secret oh. is fascinated by treasure. He's got which, the dragon sickness. Yeah, which is why he let Cahoon sneak up to... No, no, Cahoon snuck up anyway. That yeah. wasn't related to treasure. No. But that's why he had a... a marital dispute with <laughs> Kali, <laughs> which I do suppose would be a suffering. It does, yes. it does count. It yeah. does count. You straight up risked Kali's life over I, some I'm gold. I'm sorry. Once again, her life was not risked because of the treasure. The risk was done before you are more we knew worried treasure about was there. The treasure coming back. I can worry about Kali. more than one thing at once. No, you know, we can't get into this awesome, right now. We've way. been through this already. This uh. is verging on an actual <laughs> marital <laughs> it kind issue. Of is. Oh, that's great. All right, so yeah, you 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 can mark that off. I'll, I'll, I would allow that. I was honestly thinking of that last time we were playing. I was like, this is 100% going to be a, uh, an oh my XP God. I don't know. We didn't actually come close enough to losing a party member, I think, to activate my dark secret. Uh, oh, because my dark secret has to do with losing a party member. And we got Dreamin' down and we got Rolk down. But does that really... It was it close enough to death that it should activate mine. Let me ask it this Did way. Did you what, suffer from it? Yeah. Was it something that you... Uh, when you were role playing the, that moment after the fight with the scorpion beast were thinking of as you were role playing it? Well, now I mean, when I was role playing it, she was pretty rattled that he was... That Rolk was down and Dreamin' couldn't come and help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So was it something you were thinking of that moment when you were role playing? Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, mark a point like, for it. She she thought he was dead until you had to confirm he wasn't actually dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go okay. ahead and mark it. Because uh, her dark secret has something to do with losing someone. Yeah. And then did you risk your life for another PC? No one really did that. No one really... Uh, you don't count um, Cahoon going up to the Harpies as risking their life. Oh, no. I would say that's more of an extraordinary action. Okay. Yeah. Because he stealthed up there. Speaking of, did you perform an extraordinary action of some kind? Jumping I would across the chasm. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and take it. No, <laughs> no contest. Uh, would we count Cahoon solo stealth number two as another extraordinary action? I would, but, I just would me. but that's ultimately up to you. I think it should be counted because I activated my pride. Oh, you did. Did you mark that down when we covered that in the previous point? What? Did we, you you rolled your pride die last time? <gasps> With when the you were sneaking. stealing yeah. with the harpies? Yeah, you should get a point for that, too. Well, then you'd get it for your pride, but you wouldn't get it for the extraordinary action. No, I would argue that Cahoon was massively I outnumbered mean, by the harpies. You can do something extraordinary and activate your pride at the same time. Ah, but like, we gave Cahoon, if, if I remember right, we gave Cahoon a point for this similar thing previously. And I would say, as awesome as it is, Maybe it might not be worth this, like a solo stealth might not be worth two uh, two XP multiple times. You don't think it's extraordinary to go up against like eighteen harpies? Well, if you've done it two or three times and you didn't know there were harpies there at first, I did. You did? Well, we knew there were harpies. We yeah. we knew there were big birds that were weird. <laughs> at the very knew. least, you the got the experience knew. for your pride. But all right, well. I mean, I'm going to argue for all the XP. If the table agrees, then you can take one ah, for yeah. one for the pride and one for the bully extraordinary the action. Bully the DM. Bully the DM. This is a much more democratic game. I think that we should already have won. I'm going to have to veto that. <laughs> is nobody going to second me? I know because I want to play more. I kind <laughs> of want to experience more. I just don't want anyone to die. But then we could just build our castle. Castle, I don't know castle, how good castle building is going to be for castle. audio, so we'll just have to suffer <laughs> in silence. That's why we record ahead, so we can have three weeks of backfill <laughs> just to just no. To when build we the when we do the castle building, that's when we read everybody's backstory vignette. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah. It's not a bad idea. So with the XP out of the way, let's get into it. For three hundred years, fuck you. Hey now, uh, give him his thing. My one thing I get to do. Let me do the cool thing. No. 
Okay, For 300 can... years, the blood mist prevented all in Ravenland from straying far from the comfort of their hearths. Now the mist is gone. Brave souls and cunning scoundrels now wander the cursed world, sealed away behind the iron lock to find their fortune in the Forbidden Lands. Well, that's kind of kind of dinky. Dink. A little, it's a little just piano-y. You want me to do something different for the op- up top? I mean, we're straight up about to fight A lich the, king just boss. woke up. Something spooky. Get us some, get us some hurdy gurdy in there, man. Something spooky. I haven't started the fight yet. Well, I, well, he's rising. It's still he's, spooky. He's on his feet, and there are claws at the door. We have reached the crescendo, bitch. Listen, Escar is already dead. We're halfway he's through. Not this. No, he's not dead. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, killed him myself him. with three yeah. arrows in the eyeball. That's right. Like, Escar's already... Don't Escar make me be to another one. his throat. <laughs> <laughs> and dream and kill him with All right, greed. listen, guys. We don't start the medal until the initiative cards come out. All right. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, All right, Everybody, I let's bust out the doom music. <laughs> All right. So when we last left you guys... <laughs> lot happened. A lot happened last time we sat oh, down oh, to play okay. this game. Uh, 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 um, I have impeccable notes. Uh, okay. Much like a bird. I am so ready to hear what you have written uh, down. Um, it started off last week, because we do two sessions at once, uh, with three people broken. They got better. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I forgot that Dreamin has trembling for four days. Yep. yep. So yep. minus one to his agility. Wow, going through these notes actually is very useful. That sucks. And that happened because of a backfire for a spell where he healed Rolk. Yep. Uh, we found out some information from Dendrea where we basically learned that Eskar's by himself now. Yep. Like the, yeah. the Rust brother died in the water. The other guy fell down the ravine. She got abandoned and stuff like that. Uh, we spent the morning kind of gathering resources and pumping ourselves up and we left Cahoon went to sneak into a birdie place and the birds were harpies and they tried to make a deal with us a very reasonable deal where they would give us their catapult loaded with treasure if we gave them a baby or the sword or, the or sword. a sword that's right I think right. that we're gonna do a baby though yeah we're gonna find a baby somewhere yeah see you in nine months uh, that's right. I'm gonna find them a little baby fox uh, they said no foxes because they hate foxes as much as yeah. Cool. oh that's after we spoke to them is when we found yeah. that uh, the Escar's companion had fallen down the ravine uh, Kali tried to jump across to open up a bridge for us to pull it down the rest of the way it was but awesome she failed and I she still fell landed on the side of the a ravine a very far distance before catching herself on the cliff that's right I Finding took strength damage because of it, so yeah. I, I, I I was struggling. Finding yeah. a hoard of treasure, where we got some of it after a polite discussion. Polite. Um, <laughs> My foot. <laughs> Is that your note? A polite discussion? Uh, let's see. I just... Uh, I don't even have the discussion in there. That's just oh, can I, from can my I memory. Can I interject? I have an all caps. Kali makes the roll to climb up. I don't have to build a new character tonight. <laughs> yeah, no one died at all. Cahoon finds a shield. We climb the tallest tower. To find Princess Fiona. Find Princess Fiona. Tallest tower. We actually in the have to fight castle. Shrek. Secret boss. Uh, <laughs> we managed to do the right puzzles to open up this boss. But we got to the top of the tower, or to the tallest tower. We found Eskar there. We tried to hold a polite conversation with the man, but he had none of it. Yeah. And he grabbed the sword, and the king woke up, rose up. Woke up's not quite the right word. And there were claws clawing at the door behind us Mm because there were corpses in there. Or ogres. Or ogres. Well, we didn't hear any uh, Smash Mouth playing, so it's dubious whether or not there are ogres or not. There's also a very dangerous donkey somewhere. (laughs) Oh, a very dangerous bard donkey. All right. If uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to read the uh, flavor text to this room again. Oh, please do. The things have slightly changed since we last read this. Since there's a fucking lich arisen. Yeah, basically. The chamber at the top of the tower is quiet and smells of mold and perfume. A large four-poster bed stands against the far wall, flanked by suits of armor. On the bed, previously resting, uh, is the remains of a man in full plate uh, with a helmet and a crown, King Algorod of Alderland, who has just recently been woken from his eternal rest. 
and on his chest, the king had been clutching with his gloved hands this large, beautifully crafted sword. Behind this is a huge painting of a young woman with a stern face and dressed in regal in a regal gown hanging on the wall uh, next to the bed. And you get the eerie feeling that this woman is watching you. And also in this room is a, a middle-aged like man with a, a bit of like stubble on his face who had been reaching for the sword and had woken up this kink. This is, kink. This kink. This kink. This kink. Apparently <laughs> undead is his kink. Yeah. Got apparently. a thing for swords. Uh, but he was going for the sword when he awoke <laughs> the undead king. <laughs> You have yeah, a, yeah, you have yeah I hear you the class drow. <laughs> Uh-oh, I didn't hear it. Oh, no, I know it. I know what they're laughing about. Oh, I don't. I missed it. Dang it. It's a kink for swords. Sword kink. We call that sword play in the business. <laughs> uh, I understand. I wasn't going for well, that, but sure. Well, that's it for this episode. See you next time. Okay. This um, week on drow being unreasonably horny. Yeah, bonk. <laughs> Jesus. This no week on means. Drow taking everything we Kat says the wrong way. We should get one of those way. note tubes so that we can bonk and it's nice and audible. Bonk. Bonk in the key of G. The boom whacker? How yeah, boom whacker. How dare you? How <laughs> dare you whacker. give him this idea? <gasps> oh, I like I that. I will end up hearing a G note for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Derek and I will be sitting on the couch watching Bad Batch and I'll go, oh, cross hit, and he'll just go, thunk. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best. That's the point. Put up, bonk. <laughs> Uh, no <laughs> amount of horny jokes can save you from this combat. Uh, Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> but Eskar... What about horny? Actions? <laughs> that, that won't save you either. I'll just, oh, read, the, I'll just read the intro You're not a again. bard. You're a... <laughs> Even louder. Uh, what is your class? A rogue? I'm a rogue. Yeah, you're not a bard. But, uh, you're not a minstrel. The king has risen up, sword in hand. Eskar Hold has on. recoiled. Excuse I thought Eskar had Eskar the sword. Yeah, I oh, did I say he, he picked up yeah. the sword and then the king uh, rose? That's right. That's right. My so bad. did this bitch just grab it back? Like, no, mine. No, it's mine. It's mine. Like the Fuck seagulls. You. Mine? 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 Yours? Well, we can do that too. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I forgot where I left off because I don't have as complete notes as apparently Jacob here. I I don't know how because I don't take His good notes. His notes were really good. <laughs> they, they only didn't include the part about me not having to roll a new character. I didn't. I um I don't take notes because I am a method actor and Cahoon is not the one and is not one to take notes. I've done that before and I forgot the story for the adventure. Well, my oh, character was, was this Konar. Konar, yeah. <laughs> my character's smart, so I had to take notes. Luckily, I have a decent memory. I don't. It's okay. It's okay. You got notes. You just gotta play somebody smart from now on for forever. So we left off with the big bad <laughs> oh, yeah. rising. So DM, continue. You were talking and. We were doing the usual by not listening. I was taking advantage <laughs> of your doing nothing to uh, get the combat ready. Oh, no. What combat? No, you, we're we just going to talk him down. talk with this king? We could pledge loyalty, fealty. You seem like an all right fellow. He could probably use a bit more skin, but hey, you seem cool. The funny thing is, all right, I know you're joking, but uh, he actually has skin, like... It's a. It's more like a corpse. It's like a like a um like a mummy without the wrappings. Right. Like dehydrated. Like a bog body. Or just Ooh. like. Well, th wouldn't this be wet? He could be wet. There was mold. Just kind of like in between, in between like mummy and zombie. Okay. Yeah. Disgusting. You seem like you could do with a bit of filling out, but we can work on that. He needs some meat on his bones. You just need to eat something. Get this man a burger. Get <laughs> this man a burger. <laughs> Post taste. Do you think that the undead eat? Like, can they actually? M Never mind. Do the no, undead? I don't eat? think so. I think it depends on the undead. Do they need to eat? Depends on the undead. I mean, vampires. Need vampires blood. need to eat. I like to and imagine. Depend. An oh. Oh, if skeleton undead eat, I like to imagine it going down and then falling out between the ribs. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Zombies eat, but they don't need to eat. And depending on what, you know, lore you're looking brains. at, ghouls crave, like, rotten flesh. But if they don't get it, I don't think they die of hunger. I think um, that they just get driven mad with it. I think so, yeah. So that, that leads me to another idea. Would they eventually break down, like... If the body is left 
without food, it will start to break down muscle and whatnot. Does that mean that a ghoul just breaks down its brain? That's a good question. I get the feeling that when undead become undead, their bodies, for the most part, just stop. I'm not good at monster lore, so... I mean, that does make sense. But which means there is deterioration over time, unless it's some kind of magical thing. But if you're being practical, I don't think like a a zombie... This is getting way too technical. This would have been great banter. I know. You've missed your chance. Because I hate to interrupt, but I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move you guys over to the combat tracker now. Oh boy! This would have made we great go. banter. Yep. Oh well. I think that we've already done zombie. I banter. think we have too. Yeah. We yeah. talked about surviving the zombie apocalypse. Uh, is that Rokar? That Ro- is that Rokar? <laughs> he looks like a punk. Rokar? You mean Esgar? Oh my Dang god! It. Okay. I tried. Right. Let's so. draw for initiative. Can you hand me a card, please. There's your Can card. You hand me a card, please. Just chuck it at me. Is oh, your oh, card. Oh, oh, do it like those guys with the uh Hand him with this the one. poker cards. Heck yeah. yeah. Embedded in his flesh. Oh no. Oh, that's a medium. Be jealous of my initiative. Ooh, I. I. That's have not initiative. even a number. That's a letter. I mean, it's an imaginary number. Yeah. But it's also, I. it's it's a letter. It's still it's not considered a no, real it's a, number it's though. It's an uppercase I. I yeah. thought imaginary uh, uh, number was lowercase. Yeah, it is I. lowercase. Yeah. This is just a more important imaginary yes. number. The only reason I'm so into talking about the uh, undead right now is because facing your fears? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh You remember that picture of the undead guy that I posted in our Discord where in Micah and I got very horny <laughs> over him? Oh, I Ew, remember it, no, but I don't remember what the picture out. was. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's I remember it, it happening. I don't it's remember because what the I was. found out from the DM that he can and does fuck. Oh, I, I once again, I remember the conversation. I don't remember the picture. Mm-hmm. All right, well, <laughs> this week on <laughs> Let's Talk About Undead and Ignore the Combat at Hand. Oh, we're trying so very hard. We're trying so well, hard. Well, you can try no longer uh, oh, because it. it is here and it is upon you. You are in this room. You see the king risen up. Eskar is arm's length away from him, and you guys are in the near range. Let's go and around and do initiative. Who has the lowest? I have initiative of one. That would be you. Uh, what do you have, Drow? I have four. And Jacob? I have five. Five. What does Rolk have? Uh, oh, I didn't do Rolk. Or Dindre. Yeah, he needs and Dendria. Yeah. Dendria. Let's see, Ralk got a two. I don't think I'm consistent with what I call them, but you know what? It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Oh, You're very not consistent. It's, it's just about 50-50. It Ralk fits. got a two, and Dendria Ooh. got a three. Oh! Oh, my God. Wow. 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 All right, so, Kali, what would you like to do, seeing as you are first? Or do you want us to trade with anyone? Does anybody want to trade with me, or, do you, or shall I just leash, unleash the fury? Unleash is what I'd say. I mean... Looking at this, we're all going to go before him. I might trade with uh, Rolk or Bard. Oh, also, real quick, who do we want to go after? Because I was going to go after Eskar, but should we go after the king or should we go after Eskar who might be controlling him? I don't know if we actually can kill him without using his sword. Okay, so then hit Eskar so we can get the sword. I don't know, because I feel like the sword was important to kill some other monster. They, they made it sound like the sword was necessary for a something thing that separate swats than the king. Ogres. That's what? A thing that kills ogres with a single swipe of its claws or well, whatever. Oh, yeah. You know what? Kali's going to hit Eskar because she knows that arrows hurt live flesh. Well, I'm ready to start with well, you are. They do hurt undead flesh, too. Okay, here's my thoughts. Okay. This king's going to attack everybody, including Eskar. Oh, so hit him. So I'm thinking that Eskar, even if, you know, he's weary of us, might attack the king as well, simply because the king's going to go after everyone. But then again, I just don't know. All right, well, then I will attack the king because he seems scarier to me. Who knows? Maybe the king will just go after the guy with the sword. I mean, that's that's possible, yeah. So, uh... All right. Impossible. Go ahead and make your roll. Question before I roll. (laughs) Does the king appear to have armor on? In fact, he does. Yeah. He has chain mail on. Ooh. Oh, I thought you said full plate. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, did I say full plate? (sighs) See, Or half plate. I heard plate. Behind the screen, he's like basically something that's pre-written in the book. Yeah. 
but the pre-written thing in the book has different gear, which is confusing. <laughs> oh. The thing in the book says chainmail, but if you want it to be full plate, no, it's okay. By no, all no, means, it's all right. It's fine. Listen, you, you just chainmail's fine. Do it. Put them in leather. Uh, make him nude. <laughs> yeah. This guy can, sleeps in the nude. Can I start? Yeah, go ahead. And make no. your make no. your attack. Fuck you. <laughs> Forget you. Okay, <laughs> so I am going to use a willpower point to find a weakness in my opponent's armor okay. using my Path of the Arrow talent. Okay. So I'll spend my only willpower point that I got from sliding down the ravine. Oh boy. And now I'm going to roll. And for my attack with my bow, I have, let's see if I can pull this up. I get nine dice. Okay. Because I am very good at shooting. So you get to completely ignore my armor. Yep. Pretty good. Oh, so nice. But it's the only time I get to do it. Oh, oh wow. Um, That's a single success. I'm going, am That's I allowed to push this? Dice. Yeah. Because uh, it's combat and it's combat is terrifying. Combat, yeah. you almost always get to push, yeah. Uh, oh, one bane, so one damage to but your I got agility, another success. Two success. On my nine die, one so, bane, two success. I believe, so your longbow normally does uh, one damage anyway, so that yes. would be two points of damage. However, you rear back, you pull, and you strain yourself again, much like in the fight with the scorpion beast, and you puncture the armor, and your arrow sticks in, and it does damage, but he is, while he has flesh, he is mostly bone. You only do one point of damage. Did you roll so, his armor? I don't have to because is it piercing? she spent the thing. Oh, that's right. So I, I oh, feel like my attack piercing. wasn't as effective as it should have been. Yeah, you feel like your attack can only ever do at most one point of damage because of his so body. So Kali shouts to her <laughs> friends, All right. I don't think I can hit him there for much. I will uh, give this to you. Uh, oh, did I get that wrong? Shall I focus on, on something else? Uh, too late now. I guess we'll find out next time. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's like, don't oh, hit it no. with piercing. Oh. No, okay. So I was thinking don't of skeletons. Don't hit it with pissing? Piercing. Piercing. <laughs> no, I, my bad. I I'm was thinking of something piss. else. There is another type of enemy, which you may guess what it is. They can only take one point of damage from like arrows and uh, certain attacks. Skeletons. But this guy, he always, this is, you know, learning us learning the game, he always will take half damage from physical attacks. Oh. So, one point Magic of damage. Is. Which means, theoretically, hopefully, he doesn't have a lot of H, or quote-unquote HP. Well, but I'm that's glad. that's a hard thing to rely I'm on. I'm super glad yeah. I pushed for the second success, or else I wouldn't have done any damage, right? Is it? Yep, yeah, but you get a willpower point from it, so remember Is it half that. damage minimum of something? It's half damage rounded up. So that would always be at least one. One, yeah. Oh, so I even if I hadn't gotten two successes, I could have done one damage. Yeah, but you could have done like three, and that would have been two because okay. one point five rounded up. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I I alert my my group that he doesn't take full damage. Alrighty. So it's not that is getting hurt like he should. Your turn. It is Rock's turn. Rock's just Can like I yeah. Trade with him. Yeah. Because Rock is going to basically be like, oh, God, pulls out a sword and it's like shaking a little bit. Or do you have his sword still? I do not have his sword right now. I okay. have my dagger. So he's like, pulls it out and shaking. Oh, what do you want me to do? And then I imagine Cahoon's just like hand on the shoulder. Cahoon rushes in. <laughs> All right. So you're going to fast action <laughs> move into arm's length. Mm hmm. Okay. And then I will do what I do. I will dagger. All right, make me an dagger, attack. Dagger, dagger, dagger. I want a dagger. Stab, Andrew stab. Andrew WK, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who that is. The party, party, party guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Note for the audience. Jacob is very I, illiterate in pop culture. I don't know. Unless I'll, it's memes. I don't do music. <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead and make your attack, Cahoon. I oh. rolled Ooh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dice, and I got two successes. All righty. Nice. So that's two successes. Uh, you have the chance to push it, but I'm about to roll my armor, just so you know. Um, Did you have uh, the willpower to do your thingy on him? No, I don't okay. have any willpower right now, but that might change. I'm going to Can't push make it. Him. Okay. Can't make him his prey. All right, no changes. Oh. No Formal changes. Rolled four of the dice again, no changes. So let's roll the armor. Oh my God. Oh, no successes. Look at all of those dice. His armor rating is six with chain mail. Really? No successes. Sweet baby 
Never mind. <laughs> so Why you do you think also, I use the willpower point? Days. You but also do a point of damage and get through to him. And Cahoon, as you're swinging, you feel the same thing where like you can puncture through the armor, but he is just like sturdily built. His bones are still solid. He drank his milk growing up. Oh, that's a sh- Oh, no. You is he feel gross. Thick. <laughs> he is quite thick. Uh, it is Dendria's turn with a three. Does anyone want to swap? Uh, meaning anyone meaning Jacob. Nope. Okay. I'm good. So it is Dendria's turn. Uh, I asked you earlier to read about performance because you can do a couple things with it. Uh, uh, is anyone down with wits or uh, empathy? Anyone got damage to it? I'm pretty sure, except for maybe Kali, we came into this fight fresh. I have strength and agility damage. But not mental stuff. No, no nothing mental. Alrighty. Then... And I only came in with strength damage. I see, I see. What is Dendria gonna do? You know what? You may as well take the sling that she has because she's a little nervous given the last fight she was in and make an attack. There you go, Dendria. Let's do a sling, just staying in place here. Ooh, I don't hey! Think, one, two, three, four, I don't think seven. I take any penalties for being near, right? It's just the normal one. Uh, if it's the same as my yeah. bow, near is fine for Near a is normal. Perfect. So that's one success. Out of like five, seven five, dice? Five dice rolled. Or yeah. Psst. Seven dice roll. I can't fucking count. Uh, so let's roll his armor. Yoink. Six dice again. Oh. One bane. Does that mean something? No successes on the armor and one bane. Does his armor rating go down? If you take damage and you roll an, a bane for armor, then yes, you take that much damage to the armor. But you do have to take damage when it happens. All right, so his armor will go down by one. There you it go, is not monster armor. Good. It is like regular gear. Yeah, which is important to notice because as far as I as far as I've read, if you were to roll a success and a bane because he wouldn't have taken damage, you wouldn't have mm. damaged okay, the armor. So then, yep. do we like notice after Dendria's? little stone yeah. or bullet hits, there's like a chink in the armor now. Like, Jindria rears back with the sling, and like the stone hits, and like some of the chains like peel off, revealing some of like his his gross corpse flesh and bones. Grody. So you can- oh, Boogeyman body. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, Jindria. All right, so now it is Rock's turn, and what is he gonna do? Boy, y'all got good draws in this initiative, let me tell you. <laughs> Hell we did. Get up there with me. Rock is going to, in fact, follow your lead. He's like, oh, fight, God. Fight, 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 <laughs> fight. And he fight. moves into near range, and he's going to take a swing with his sword. Your sword out. What do you got for me, Rock? Oh, no. Now, he no. is not going to push that roll. So yeah, he would... rolled five dice and got one bane on his gear die. So if he pushed it, the weapon would take damage. So he's not going to do that. Rock runs up. He swings. He hits the armor let's say, and just misses. He's a little he's a little nervous given the last fight you guys were in. Pings mm -hmm. right off the armor. Fair enough. Alrighty, so now <laughs> boy oh boy, it's uh it's the king's turn. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh my bad. I forgot you were playing in this game, Jacob. Go ahead. Your turn. Hmm. What the fuck? Come I, on, Dreamin. <laughs> Dreamin. Uh, um, <laughs> sorry, I should have had my word as original. <laughs> um, I don't think you vibe with this world. Let's get rid of you. And he will cast Purge Undead using a willpower point. Well, yes. So what do I get to roll? Uh, nothing. This is entirely me. Okay. I love that term. I don't think you vibe with this world. <laughs> Purge undead. Oh, no. Right. So I get to roll two dice because of my half-elf thingy that every time I spend one pill willpower, I spend, in fact, one more. Um, or if I spend at least one willpower, I spend one more. So this will do... Oh, ho! -ho! You Ooh, got, got a success. two dice, one success. That is a power level of three for Purge Undead, which means uh, this spell inflicts damage to strength equal to the power level on one undead target. And you're in the right range? I guess you yes. could move if you weren't, but yeah. No, no it's a near. Okay, so wow, three. Wow, and this is not physical damage. No, this so, is uh, just no. straight up damage. Mm -hmm. Three strength damage to the king. 
Wow. Can you imagine dreaming his semi crazy look just straight up laying out the damage? Man. I think that you need to fuck off. <laughs> now, you don't vibe with this Eskar, world. Eskar, I know you must be worried seeing as we have two people you've abandoned here with us, but we would like to survive as well. So keep your head about you, okay? Alrighty. And Eskar's Man. like, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, but it is now the king's Just turn proper. Play if nice. This, if this were Pathfinder, oh I'd have had him roll for intimidate. Right. <laughs> uh, it is now the king's turn, and I've rolled for what he's going to do. And uh, an unlucky adventurer stares directly into the horrible gaze of the death knight as a wheezing sound is heard from the creature's throat. Uh-oh. Uh this is going to work as a uh, paralyzing poison with potency eight. Ooh. Oh my god. So I believe I roll a eight dice and then you roll your endurance. And who, if I get, it's a, like a, a contested thing, right? Yes. And uh, if I remember correctly. And so if you pass, then you take the normal effect and not the full effect. But if you fail, then you take the full effect. Uh, alrighty, so let me roll eight Holy dice. Shit. Who has to roll? All of us? Uh, no, this is on, basically what's happening here is it's supposed to be I like roll for who this attack goes after, but because Dreamin like said, I don't let you vibe, the king just like <laughs> stares directly back at him and you see this like, this like flame, this like dull pink I... flame in the back of his eyes and you hear this guttural sound come from him. I want to argue that Dreamin did not take his sword. Take his sword? Yes. Yeah, Askar, Askar stole the sword. Uh, it doesn't matter. Which Dreamin did works. triple but the damage everybody else did. He might actually did. be an intelligent undead. Okay. Which would be the worst case scenario. So I need to roll endurance. Come yeah, on, Dreamin. I need to roll eight dice because it's just potency like, eight. I would just like this guy to be like, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Oh, what are you doing? No oh. successes on eight dice. So you just need to succeed, I think, right? Hey, and there's a success. Right, yeah. so six. Jacob just yeah. rolled six die. I rolled and got six a dice and got one single success. So I believe you take one damage to agility. Uh, let me look up the poison real quick because you take the limited effect. This oh, is yeah. paralyzing. There poison. are limited effects. They really are the worst. There's a map of the whole Forbidden Lands in this book. Don't That's look. Not. Spoilers. Well, no, it's it's an over. It's I think we're not in the entire Forbidden Lands just where we kidding. are. Poison is on page one thirteen. Yes. <laughs> Uh, this is a paralyzing poison? Yes. Limited effect, I take one point of damage to agility. Hey, I got it right. I remember from Rolk. So go ahead and mark that. One point of damage to agility. That's his turn. Uh, it is now Eskar's turn. You do realize we're going to have to kill this guy, right? Eskar. And we can use his help right now. Eskar takes the sword oh, in his hand. Do it. And he looks it over. And he's just like... <laughs> Oh, don't do it. You talk a strong game, but you don't have this. And he's going to attack the king. Thank you for being helpful. <laughs> Kali just, just gets another bow. I want to say something threatening and attack someone else. <laughs> ah. Trust no one. Oh, I'm so excited to see what the sword can do. Oh, yes, I just thought, yay. The sword. I really want it to be totally awesome. I want it to be awesome, but not like too awesome because we're probably going to have to fight this guy. I want it to be, to be the most awesome, but for this guy to fail entirely in using it. Oh, oh what no. the heck? That's right. It's an artifact. What the fuck is that? That One, is a... Two. That's 12 dice. So just so the audience can tell, uh, Derek rolled quite a large number of dice. And for... the a good point failed horribly yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, one of the dice, dice is a green dice. dice on the screen and when you get a special item like an artifact or like a legendary thing or whatnot you get higher than a d6 you can get like a d8 so if I remember correctly even up to a d12 the more powerful items Correct. what is wrong with this guy so he rolled a total of oh man let's see six 10 D, no, 11 D6, and then one artifact die. I only got one success and one bane. He's going to push. But oh, can you push? Can the DM push? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Two oh. banes. But, uh, you know wait, wait. The, this is against the king, though. Yeah. yeah. You, you know the great negative to using an online thing? I, I feel like. Now we know this guy's strength. You should see the spread. That's six so the, agility die. Like we six know exactly how much damage we need to break him. Four 
What are the red ones? Four of the red ones are skill dice. Yeah, four um, skill dice, two gear dice, and then the green one. Right. This is insane. So he got three total successes, which means he'll do a grand total of two damage. Oh, wait, no, I need to do the armor. Too My bad. bad. I need to do the armor roll here. Oh, what a failure of a monster. But he swings really hard, and he just, like, you can see him straining himself, like, almost throwing his arm out of socket trying to get this hit in. And he does hit, but it's not that great. Two Bane. At the end of the, at the end of this round... Here Something come the happens. other guys. Uh oh. Bursting in. The door. Yeah. From the doors. So there's like your main door, and then there is the bursting in from that main door are two more skeletons, and they are dressed in like armor. They look like undead bodyguards, and they come rushing at you two. I'm Do going to have the, you two. Do they you have three, the uh, shades me. and a little earpiece? Yeah, yeah, they look like Secret Service skeleton. Wait, men. why yes. am I at arm's length? I was staying at Because you're at arm's it's length a, with them. Look at, the, you're in a different zone. Oh, we're in a different zone. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We so have this chart. they are now chart. an arm's length with you two. Or okay. you three. I don't me. like the way they look. But you oh. guys in zone two are still near to the other guys fighting. And they don't get to act this round. They just show up. They ugly. Mm. They have hair. So let's start the like uh, next clumps. round of initiative. Who has number one? I think it's you, That Kali. would be Kali. Kali. All right, what do you want to do? Um, I don't have, I'm too metagamey. I don't have any reason to not believe that I could hurt one of these skeletons, right? I don't want to be too metagamey, but I also just hit the, the skeleton king and didn't do full damage. So I think the big thing here is what are you going to do? Because if you get out of arm's length with those guys, you're going to be in arm's length with the king. Can't I back? Oh wait, no. We're like so. They're like they're at the door. I was back toward the door away from the king, and there's nowhere for me to go. Uh, yes, this is the music. <laughs> so is that is that the case? Like I can't get away from arm's length from one of them, from one of the skeletons. I'm going to say the king? because this room is so small. Uh, no, you couldn't get away. You could, I think you can still attack the king without pro Yeah, because it's not really provoking in this game unless you try to I'm run. I'm more worried about the skeletons that are going to start hitting me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um. You could also move down the hallway and uh, you would be near from these skeletons, but you'd be further, you wouldn't. Short. Yeah, you'd be short from the king. And I would impose a negative to that because you'd be shooting through like zones of people. Mm -hmm. so. Um, and I know I just said we'd try and cooperate with Eskar, but he, he just kind of like said that, you know, you can't fight me. I've got a magic sword. And, and then fucked. I mean, uh. to be fair, I know it's kind of unfair, but we know he only has three strength left. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it would have been really cool if he had just like wailed into the king, but I rolled like shit, so. Well, you know what? I am bad at everything else other than my bow. I am going to, I'm going to shoot the king. No, mm. I have strength damage. I don't want to get hit by one of these skeletons. Well, you could shoot and then move. Yeah. That's oh, okay, fair. there you go. I can shoot and then move. Because I don't have to use my ready yeah. to... Um, I don't have to ready my bow because of my fast shooter talent. So I will shoot and then move. And you don't have to roll whenever you're leaving a threatened space because it's not difficult terrain. Yes, it just do. says I have to do? do minus one it's to a, flee. Oh, okay. Run okay. or move is used for when you move from within arm's length of an enemy. Okay, so you'll have to make a, a move check at But against one. the skeletons, not against the king. Yeah, correct. Is well, that then, opposed? No, you just make the check, and if you fail, then I can attack. Attack, I yes. Think. Like, Kali cool. is good at one thing, and that one thing is shooting her bow, so she is going to shoot that bow. All right, go for it. I will also use my one willpower point to ignore his armor. Go for it. I got a single success, Alrighty. so I am going to be... Uh, pain is everything. Push. Oh, yeah. I love this game and the decisions it makes you make. One isn't enough. I want to do more than... I want to do... I want the chance to do more. Okay. Hey, another success. Oh, okay. And so no, no bane hey. and two successes on my eight dice. So, wow. Uh, Pretty yeah. great. Yeah. All right. So that'll that'll still be one point of damage. It whistles through the air past the people in melee. Wow. 
the, yeah. the, the uh, arrow that is. And then can I head backwards? Yeah, make me a move the door? roll. Move roll at a minus one. All right, can at do. A minus one? For, yeah, cause yes, of because of arm's, arms length. length. Negative one to flee. All right, so then oh. I get five dice, but a minus one modifier. Yes. All right, I so that not is a fail. Can I push a move or no? Yes, you can push then it in combat. Then I'm going to attempt to push this move because that's a big deal for me. Okay. Oh, oh I got a success. Success on a four dice. A single success nice. out of my four. Good. All right. So I you don't made need it. to take strength damage. All right. And I don't have much. No bane, no willpower, but no bane. So. Cool. Yeah, Kali shoots the arrow and then backs out. <laughs> She's like, get out of here, protocol. All and right. GTFO protocol. <laughs> yep. Drow, I think you have number two, right? Yep. Second verse, same as the first. Okay. Oh, and I did do one damage to the king, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, and he's taken he's taken a good number of hits at this point. Ooh, how many dice was that? Uh, Seven? Okay. Yeah, seven. And I got one. One success. Yeah. Uh, all right. What do you want to do? You wanna just, um, are you good with that? Because I have to roll armor. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to push it. Okay. Push, push, push. Oh, Ooh, and I got bane a bane on oh, your the weapon. Da- oh, on the dagger. Uh, Ooh, all right. The so bonus is one, which, which means, means I'm going to drop it. Broken. Yeah. 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 So your dagger is now broken, but you still get one success. Do I get a willpower? You do get a willpower. You always get a willpower when you uh, get a bane. That is the, the right, real cool. risk for Drow's character. Can I? Let me roll the armor here. We need here. a better weapon for you. The armor, the king's armor on 5d6 negates the hit with one success. Okay. Can I take, can I ask Rolk for his weapon? Yeah. And just tell uh, him to GTFO? Yeah, we'll get to that. So basically, you swing with this dagger and you go to like cut into him and the dagger just gets bent and stuck in his chain mail. Maybe in one of like the holes or like the gaps. So. Bone man took my dagger. <laughs> Rolk's like, oh, oh, I, I, I can give you mine. Uh, but it is not his turn, Careful. I believe. Uh, it is worth noting, just so we can know for the future, that fleeing is not what she was doing. She was retreating, oh. which you get no negative to. Fleeing is when you want to leave a combat. Oh, like, oh, like that's okay. like straight up get out. Okay, yes. I was oh. just backing we forfeit. Up. We're past yes. it at yeah. that point, yeah. but yeah. we'll yeah. keep it in mind But I later. still succeeded. It didn't hurt me. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it didn't really matter. So we'll, yeah. we'll keep it in mind for later. Uh, all righty. So it is now Dendria's turn. Boy, this is going to be this is gonna be whack, yo. Whack. Come on, Dendria. Dendria helped us out earlier. Probably should have been Hurting rolling that armor. privately this whole time. Uh, <laughs> oh, I wonder. I mean, I knew I wasn't, but... Jacob uh, was getting a little metagamey with the dice counts. Listen, he showed it. <laughs> yeah. This is public knowledge. This is in the public domain. <laughs> By the way, I love that our tokens... Straight up has a picture of Doc Brown, or or dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> the wonders of not showing our map online. <laughs> Even though I painstakingly made the other picture, <laughs> we should update the tokens. I like Doc Brown. All right, Dendria rolled and got a success. Let me roll these guys' armor real quick. Does she use the sling again? Uh, no, she has a dagger. Oh. Yes. Oh, she's hitting the skeleton next to her. Yes. Okay. Uh, ooh. The mental image is ooh. important. All right. So she swings and hits uh, and does a point of damage. And because this guy had 3d6 armor, I rolled one bane. Hey. This armor goes down to two. Nice. Cool. That's Dendria's turn. Dendria is breaking down the armor for us. She has been helpful. Yeah. Dendria's got a thing for armor. I like her. No, she's your average bard undressing people. Ah, <laughs> hey. bunk. Uh, uh, yeah, bunk. It's, <laughs> it's Rock's turn. A Rock's like, oh shit, Cone, take my sword, and hands you his sword, oh, which I'll oh. just let you take. He could attack first. Oh, <laughs> thou art correct. No, it's like. Bulk, attack See, first. Occasionally, Jacob says something that actually helps the players too. So. I help everyone. It hurts everyone. So he hands you the You've sword, and this. you're like, stab, <laughs> stab. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, ooh, it's a success. Oh, come on, roll Rolk. Armor. Come on, Rolk. One success on five d six. Oh. No successes on the armor. <gasps> he does one point of damage. Yay, Yay for Rolk! 
And then he hands you the sword. All right, now get out of here. Now the sword. And then he rolls to move out. Uh, let me roll his move real quick. Uh, roll, come here. Uh, he failed his move. Oh, so he provokes, basically. Yeah. Uh, he's running, and he's going to have to go to where you guys are. Yes. Uh, but the Because he doesn't dude succeed is make in fleeing or moving. Yeah, he's going to make an attack here. This is not going to be good for Rolk. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, Rolk so is on a, real a very large amount of dice, I got two successes. Oh. Oof. Rolk has armor, doesn't he? Uh, ooh, does he have armor? Please have armor, oh, yeah, Rolk. Leather. No, he does not have any armor. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. So Rolk's going to take He's a at one, chunky hit, right? and Rolk's going to go down. No! no. Oh, he only oh, has no. two? He had three strength. Had. Had. I thought he only rolled two successes. Yes. Oh, did Rolk have a bane from somewhere else or something? No. Not all weapon damage is base one. Yeah. Oh, Some weapons yeah. do too. That's right. Melee weapons. So basically, Rolk gets going and scurries, and this guy just like... One inch punches Slaps Rolk. <laughs> Punts him a little bit distance. One slash! Actually, technically, I should have done one of these things. You know what? Why don't we do that? That'll be fun. Because that's technically the... Yeah, okay. Oh, he has a critical injury. He, he does. He does this thing called okay. uh, power attack. So he basically one inch punches Rolk, does that damage, and Rolk Shits does himself. move to your zone because he is flung there oh, by oh, the boy. force of this punch. All right, I can work with this. That's actually part of his attack. That was the one I was. That was the one I was rolling. Uh, alrighty, so let me roll on the critical injury table. No wonder they left Rolk behind. Hey. 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 You're the one who insulted him in that one episode. <laughs> I encouraged him. You said he was a disappointment whenever I, he drank. When he drank. Which was not an active. Kali like, tried to save his life in the other one. I saved his by life by holding from his drunkenness. toeless foot. All right, I'm going to roll this in front of you guys real quick, this critical injury. Why are you going to do this just to scar us? Because uh, that's the point. That's my job as a DM. Listen, a good podcast we is adopted the player him. suffer. Oh, no, his poor foot again. His <laughs> foot again. <laughs> so the king, the, the critical injury I rolled is called crushed foot. In the last critical injury, he took a severed toe. This is slashing? This is, this is blunt. blunt force. Oh, I just is, is he it. like the Murphy's Law? It's always the worst thing, so it's the same blunt foot as a severed toe. Crushed yeah. foot. To run becomes a slow action. Well, that three d six days. All right. Uh, do you want to roll three d six for me, real quick, while I apply it to Rolk? I do not remember what the time limit is. Is this lethal? Oh, <gasps> this is lethal. Oh, it is. What is the uh, lethal time frame? Uh, d six days. Okay, so go ahead, and roll three d six. Oh my god. Does that mean for three d six days he's? He could die if it's not healed in that number of days. So that was 11. So he'll be affected by it for that long, and do you want me to roll for the lethal time? Yes. What do you roll for lethality? D6. For three days. Three days, this will kill him. He so basically, to live. let me explain what happens here. One inch punch is still a thing that happens, but he, at first he like stomps Rock's foot and then punches him so hard, like his crushed foot just kind of gets ripped and it's... <gasps> Not oh. completely severed, but it's not completely there. And he lands, bloodied, yelling in pain on the floor in front of Dreamin. Oh. No. All righty. Woo! At least you got a sword before he got yeeted. <laughs> Human blood freaking clean right. out okay. over here. Okay. The, this guy did, just looked at Rolk and Fusro Dottom. A little bit. Straight up. Uh, Dreamin', it is your turn. Uh, give me a second. I'm checking some stuff out. <laughs> oh, but uh, he's a, has a special effect that I'm reading about critical injuries and healing. That's what I do. Is he dead? Not, ah, not yet. My other foot. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> not even the same the one foot. foot. Different the other foot. other foot crushed. Why does adventuring get you straight in the feet? I mean, to be fair, it's only been you like this so far. I'd rather run away in fear. Kali's no, just holding her mouth. No, we must stand our ground, Rolf. I can't stand at all. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to eventually. So she's holding her mouth shut because she doesn't want to retch. <laughs> You're distracting me. It's okay, Cahoon. You got this. Cahoon, maintain your stabbing position. Obviously. All right, uh, Dreamin will quickly lean down beside Rolk. 
Okay. And he'll be like, sorry about this, Rolk. It's a rather rough one, isn't it? Uh, let's get your foot fixed up real quick. Or, you're in combat. That doesn't affect anything with spells, does it? Uh, this isn't a spell. Oh, this you're will be a healing. healing check, which, as far as I know, can happen in combat. Uh, it will not fix his critical injury, nor his lethalness. Yeah. But it could get him back in the fight. Okay. Which is almost more important than anything Dreamin could do, because uh, he's not built for fighting. So I am going right. to roll a healing check, add my gear dice for my bandages, and do a uh, combat healing. Straight up okay. trying to wrap a bandage on him in the middle of combat. Awesome. Oh. How many dice do you roll? I rolled one, two, three, four, five, six dice. Six dice? Yes, yeah, six dice. I have two banes and one success, but... One of them is on your gear, One too. of them is on my gear, and one of them would be damage to my empathy, but I don't know what, like, some of these undead could do. So I'm just going to say I've healed Rolk of... One strength. One strength. Cool. And All right. Dreamin will... Does Rolk have another weapon? Uh, He has... A sling, I think. No, he doesn't have that right now. What happened to it? I don't know. It's not on a sheet, so something must have I think that to it, it got given to Dreamin so he could repair it, uh, and it oh, happened, okay. I'm pretty sure. Well, he's still on the ground yeah. in arm's length, so what, do you, what were you thinking about doing to him? Uh, I healed him, and I'm just standing there with my knife drawn. I was debating giving him my knife. Okay. But I need it to parry if I get attacked. I'd give him a weapon, but I've not been able to find another weapon. All I have is my bow. It's just my bow. If you had the chance to change your feet, uh, you? and then Dreamin will hand roll his dagger, his knife, and if you'll let me, he'll pull out his sling. Alrighty. And I'm gonna say that's Park probably all my stuff. Okay. Park it is. Okay. So yeah, you have his sling, and he's gonna take his dagger. So he's still on the ground, but he's not dying anymore. Actually. Yes. Uh, Yeah, I'll do that. He needs a weapon. All right, you're still in arm's length. Yes, of the skeletons. So Dreamin has the the sling or the knife? I have a sling now. Okay. I've given my knife to Rolk for now. Okay, I just need to keep my mental picture going, and the audience might need the (laughs) clarification too. All righty, so that was Dreamin's turn. You're initiative number five, right? Yep. All right, it is now the two skeletons' turn. One of them is going to do a shvingy shving. And it's dreaming. That doesn't have to. Dreamy dream. Oh, it do. Dreaming is going to attempt to die. Oh, wait. Oh, no. What is to my To attempt talent? to die? To die. No, die. don't attempt to die. I'll do it. I'm going to attempt to dodge. Oh, you took that dodge talent, didn't you? Yes. Unfortunately, my agility has taken some damage, and I am trembling. Make me a dodge. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Crap. Oh, wait, I don't need to. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> eight dice, and I did not get a single success. Would you like to push that, Derek? He's a monster. They're stupid skeletons. It's He's a monster, so it wouldn't... Uh, oh, it wouldn't... It would hurt his strength, but it wouldn't uh, make the attack any easier the second time around. So, no, I'm not going to push that. Dang it. I thought that was Dreamin's role, and I panicked. Mm-hmm. Me too. All right, next one's going to attack one. Dendria. Oh. Let That's a lot of strength this. for a bone boy. Dendria. Oh, oh she's okay. safe. <laughs> Eight dice, no successes. Wow. No success, no bane, just numbers. Wow. It is Ooh. now Big Boss McGillicuddy's turn. Oh, not Big Boss McGillicuddy. Let me figure out what he's going to do. Is he a bone boy? Because that's what his picture looks he like. He is going to rear back and Uh-oh. let out what is known as an unholy roar. Dang it. That's bad. His decomposed skull contorts and an unnatural scream sounds from the dead throat. Wait, so his skull, his Everyone in change? near range, which is everyone but Kali, is affected by a fear attack. Oh no, Wait, this could I'm wipe in us near. out. Yeah, but you're further away. Oh, oh, so it's everyone in arm's length? N- near. Oh boy. You're short. Uh, arm's length in zone two with the two skeletons fighting Dreamin and uh, Dendre and Ralk. They're near. You moved back from that. You're in short to the king. Oh, oh, okay. The, I'm a little bit confused by the table. Sorry. Okay. One success on 8d6. So uh, Asgar, Cahoon, Dreamin, and basically everyone but Kali is going to take one point of damage to Hwitz. Oh, uh, yay. Great. 
How you doing, Cahoon? I'm at two. It could have been a lot worse. I'm it also at two. It could have been two. so much worse. Oh, it could have been a whole lot worse. Uh, that's his turn. Well, yeah, with eight dice, it could be a lot worse. It oh, is now- and don't forget Mr. Swordman. Yeah, I, I, he's the don't last one to Don't forget Eskar. Act. No, I mean, he took the witch damage, too. Oh, I did. I, I, I certainly did. He is going to roll a attack here. Ugh. Two successes. Uh, and he has to go up against the armor. On those nine dice. Oh, but it does not get through. Oh. The armor blocks it completely. Not get so nine dice, including an artifact die. Only got two successes. Five dice for the armor. Three successes on that. Top of a new round to ya. It is a Khalees turn. I'm Jack Sakali. Exceptionally <laughs> silent in combat due to her insane level of concentration. Pulls and back. the vomit in her mouth. Yeah, and the vomit in her <laughs> mouth. Because while she is a hunter, she does not like to see gore related to her companions. Totally different when you're hunting something and cleaning mm-hmm. that. It's gore on companions, no go. Uh-huh. Anyway, she pulls back her bow, holds back her vomit, and tries to shoot the king. Oh, okay. So you're going to take a penalty because this is short. And I'm going to say an extra minus one because you're shooting through two different zones of melee. That's uncalled for. I feel like it's very fair. Like if, I, it is fair. Okay, she's smarter than me. For. If she would notice that this would be a bad shot, could I sh- say that I attack one of the skeletons instead? Yeah. So it'd be, it would be... Uh, a normal no negatives for the skeletons. It would be an effective minus two for the king because he got minus one for short, okay. and then I'm imposing minus one well, for Well, then the I'm going to say she knows more about combat than me. She would know it's hard to shoot the king right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she'll shoot one of the skelly boys. She's going to shoot the one that's going after Dreamin because she wants to keep him safe. He's the healer. All righty. That is her thing for Dreamin. <laughs> He's too valuable Jacob's to let go down. Looking up wistfully with his arms raised. All right, so that is uh, eight dice because she's a little bit hurt right now. Only eight dice. Only oh, eight. No. One I got a single success and one bane. All right, so they do um, have armor, remember, so. And I don't have a willpower point to spend. No, um, so don't push it. But you. if don't push you push it. it, you'll break your bow a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I can't, I can't afford it. to break the bow. Not to mention... If I take any damage, this is my agility. Yeah. It's the only thing I'm good at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna push. I'm just doing one at the- Let's do the armor then. Dang it, it doesn't go through. Wait, Two d- successes on three dice, the armor blocks. Are these not the guys who don't have armor but only take one damage? They they have armor. Yeah, oh, they do. That I just remember sucks. I described them coming out, they mm-hmm. look like bodyguards. Like uh, I have, I just yeah. had a really bad roll. All right. That's all. So that's your turn. I think you still have a fast action if you wanted to spend it, but I don't know if there's anything you can do. So I don't think there's anything. I want to stay where I'm at. This is good for shooting. Cool beans. Cahoon. All right. Your turn. I'm going Cahoon. to spend Cahoon. a willpower Cahoon. point. Cahoon. Cahoon. I am going to mark Cahoon. the king as my prey. Yeah. Oh, boy. He's going down. Going down like a two-cent pair of socks. So this will give me a total of nine dice against him with the short yeah. sword. Wow. Go for it. Get him, Cahoon. That is wow. one, two, three, four successes. And yes. one bane. And one bane. Let me roll the armor. I'm assuming you're not pushing it. No. Okay. Oh, man. Can you imagine that hulk of black fur just raining down a blow of a short sword? One success and one bane on the armor on five dice. So that's... Three damage that gets through, two Ooh, okay. that will hit or, or, or take because of his special thing, and his armor will go down by one. No, he took two damage total, so go down by two, right? It's every bane. Oh, if by he every takes bane. Damage, yeah. Every bane gets less. Still, that's less armor. This is good. And Cahoon, would you like to describe <gasps> your kill? Yes. Uh. Cahoon starts frothing at the mouth a little bit. This is his prey. Mm -hmm. And he has just witnessed his friend who said that he was going to take him to McDonald's after this. uh, (laughs) Get no mozzarella sticks? His his foot stomp. No, we're not going to Arby's tonight. Uh, (laughs) And get fucking Saitama across the room. Uh Uh-huh. So he, angry and concerned, just cuts through it. Just cuts cuts through through chain mail, cuts through bone, cuts through sinew and then looks over at Eskar and says, I don't need a special sword. Oh, oh. Yeah! So Cahoon, you swing through, you cut through, and as 
the chain mail links fly and tink off the like the walls and the floor and the king falls to the ground Eskar turns to you uh, and there is just this is there fear there's this glow in his eyes this just bright like cocksure evil glow in his eyes and he says you're gonna wish you had it and he raises the sword <gasps> to swing at you wait and that's where we're going to pick up Wait, next time. But it's not even his turn. Yeah, it is his turn. Yeah, it's not. Crabtastic, it that's is his not. turn. Oh, it's not his turn. It's not his turn. <laughs> no, Your cliffhanger is bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> Catch us on the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted pizza so bad. (laughs) (laughs) Please, can we leave that in? Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Third Gallon Podcast. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, rating, and reviewing us. Uh, If you want to see more from us, check out our website, thirdgallon.com, or follow us on Twitter. We are at Third Gallon. That's T-H-I-R-D Gallon. You can also tweet at us using the hashtag third gallon and we are on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Tumblr with the same handle at third gallon. We also publish a video version of this podcast on YouTube and Twitch. Our YouTube channel is called the third gallon and our Twitch channel is at third gallon. Our ambience for this episode was composed by Michael Gelfi. Uh, and you can find more of his work at youtube.com slash Michael Gelfi music. And you can support his awesome work at patreon.com slash michaelgelfie. Our theme music for this season was composed by Alexander Nakarada. You can find more of his work at serpentsoundstudios.com and support him at patreon.com slash anakarada. That's patreon.com slash A-N-A-K-A-R-A-D-A. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.